Hi everybody. I know some of you have been interested in how to make covered hangers. I learned from my Grammy and I'm happy to share with you in her memory. So start by finding two hangers that are approximately the same size. Um, just check for the shape and the length uh, because if they are not close to the same size, you will end up um, having difficulty covering them. So as Grammy would say, try to do the very best you can to get the same size. Okay, once you've matched up your hangers, you need to lay them on top of each other like so and use your tape, whether you have masking tape, painter's tape, or in my case, all I had right now during this isolation period um, is just some packing tape. So um, try to affix the hangers together at the neck um, at two points on the arms and two points on the base. Okay, next you need to ball your yarn. So choose one color, you can make a solid color hanger or you can choose two of your favorite colors that you feel coordinate together. Uh, but you need two balls of yarn. They really don't need to be super huge. They can be about the size you see in the picture there or probably smaller so that you can wrap your hand around them easily um, when you're crafting the hanger. Also beware of cats during this part of the project. Cats love yarn and will randomly pounce on you in an attempt to steal it away. Okay, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna attach the yarn to the tip of the hook there um, just by putting some tape and sticking the ends on. Um, you don't want the tape to hang over the edge too much, maybe just a tiny bit over like you can see in the picture. Um, and then go ahead and wrap uh, the tape around the ends of the yarn so that they are right next to each other and you can then tie knots, um, one or two of each color is fine, but just tie a couple of knots to secure them into place. Okay, let's get looping, ha uh ha. -huh. Um, so to get started, you just bring the yarn um, over to one side and kind of make a loophole. And then what you're gonna do is pass the ball through that loophole and then pull it snug so that you get a straight line with a little knot on the end and you're gonna do this both ways um, back and forth between each ball of yarn on each side like so okay you're on a roll you just keep repeating over and over left right left right looping passing it through pulling it snug and this is where you can just zone out to your favorite song or tv show and keep your hands busy this is really awesome for those who have a problem with sedentary snacking or late night snacking so i recommend this project for that um, and we're going to get to the part in just a moment where the neck uh, splits to the arms, so let's look at that. Okay, so when the neck starts to split, uh, what you have to do is just pass the yarn through the center of the hanger so that one of the threads goes in between the split there. Um, that way the yarn will start to pass through and cover one of the arms at a time. Uh, it'll cover kind of down the back. You'll notice that I flipped the hanger around at some point. Um, it just becomes more ergonomic um, to pass the balls of yarn towards you instead of away from you. There she is again, that mischievous Josephine kitty. She pounced and stole my ball of yarn. So I caught her and the evidence but she is awfully cute and good company. So just keep plugging along. You'll get to the end of the arm. You'll go around the bend and down the bottom of the hanger um, and then come up around the other bend and up to the neck again. 
All right, when you get to the neck, it does get a little tight. Um, so just get as many loops in there as possible to cover all the wire. And when you have gotten to your stopping point, um, there's no need to tie a knot or anything yet, but you're gonna cut off the yarn and just leave some slack so that you will have enough to tie on your decorative bow at the end. Okay, so now you're gonna make your decorative bow. Um, what you need to do is just take your favorite color of the yarn that you have, or you can take both colors that you've used and just wrap a good amount around your fingers, um, like you can see here in the picture. And then the next thing you'll do is place that bundle onto the hanger in between the two ends of slack that you left and then just tie the slack ends around. Uh, it'll cinch it together in the center and just tie it off. I did like two or three knots um, and trimmed the edges because they were actually a little too long in this case. And there you have it. You've made your first covered hanger, yay. Um, with the little bow thing, you can fan it out to look like a flower, keep it skinny so it looks like a cute little bow, or sometimes my Grammy would cut the edges so that it would fray out and look like a little pom-pom, um, like you can see in these other examples here of hangers that she made herself. Um, so I'm really happy that I could pass this craft on to you guys. It was something I really enjoyed doing with her and I hope that you will find other happy ways to pass your time in social distancing. Look forward to seeing you all again as soon as we can. Bye, stay safe.